Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and this video is going to be about the recent Lucid video about the Halo sandbox and the gentleman's agreements and the, you know, I guess, quote-unquote banning of certain weapons in competitive play for the HCS. Now obviously, gentlemen's agreements do not affect people, you know, who are just playing ranked or just playing the game in general. Like, what they're agreeing on doesn't affect the player but it does affect the viewer. And while I understand where he and other pro players are coming from, I can't really comment on that aspect of things. I'm not a pro player. You know, I'll play ranked and stuff, but like, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't reached Onyx since like season one. I did get like Onyx and SWAT, but that doesn't count. Normally I do my placements and then that's kind of it for me for that season, just because it's not as fun. And I'm an old man. But his video is 40 minutes long and this video will not be that long. And again, I respect what he's saying. He's, you know, an infinitely better player than I am. He's smart. I understand why he is saying what he is saying and why other pro players believe what they believe. That being said, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. I know 90% of you who watch the video aren't subscribed. We're trying to hit 15K. Let's do it. All right, let's actually get into the video. He talks about a lot of the weapons, um, you know, in the sandbox, the AR, the disruptor, the heat wave, the bulldog. He might talk about like the skewer and stuff like that, but he talks about respectability and kills, how, you know, it's not respectable to get a kill with the heat wave as much as it is with the bandit or, or the AR versus using the bandit. And I get that. I actually hate the AR, I despise it. But not everybody spawns with an AR. And after it's been nerfed a little bit, still has the headshot multiplier, but it's been, it's definitely not as effective at range. I just feel like diluting the sandbox, while you think you're making a, you know, a gap, a skill gap, you're sacrificing other aspects of the game. Halo has always been played around power-ups and, you know, power weapons on the field. And these weapons are considered like a mid-tier power weapon. I believe they come up like every minute. And to me, if you're a good team, you're gonna know that. You're gonna be playing for those things still. And if you're winning those things and getting these quote unquote easy kills that aren't respectable, are you not just increasing that quote unquote skill gap? Now, I know that that is probably not true, but coming from a viewer standpoint, I can honestly say that at this point in time, I don't think anybody gets extremely hyped watching somebody, you know, get a double kill with a bandit. And now that we're, you know, three years into this game, it's just not as exciting. And when you keep getting rid of things to just have one gun being like the focal point for most of the match until like rockets or a sniper comes up, you're really, really harming the viewer experience. Now, why is that important? Because you want more people to be watching your game. Now, I would like to think that the more viewership the game has, the more it affects you and your fan base. And in turn, your bank account. People want to see exciting things. It's just like YouTube. Nobody wants to watch a video anymore of like, I went 35 and five in ranked using the BR or the bandit. Like it's just not that big of a deal anymore. People want to see fun stuff. People want to, people want to see a clip on like Twitter from the HCS account where somebody, you know, gets two kills with a disruptor, a spray down with the AR and then, you know, melee somebody it's just they want to see something different you know like the nba saw the three-point line and they were like yeah let's not add it no because it's fun and exciting or like when they allowed people to actually dunk and stuff you know it's kind of hard to compare esports with professional athletic sports you know players in the nfl technically don't make up rules or have gentlemen agreements and stuff you know there's a competition committee and if you want to be you know if you want to be compared to that stuff, then you have to act like it. Now, I'm not saying that 343 isn't to blame. I do think that there needs to be rebalances and there needs to be more support. I do think that there are things that the pro players have good ideas and input on that 343 is just too slow. I don't know why. And I know that has to be frustrating for those pro players. And I understand how like the heat wave and the bulldog make it to where, you know, people are hiding camping corners and stuff like that. I think the heat wave is a fantastic weapon because of how it works. I think that it did not need to be 
GA'd, if you want to GA the Bulldog, whatever. But those are those weapons' strengths. That's how they're supposed to be used. Like, I remember, like, clips of Lucid popping off with other weapons and, you know, the shock nades and stuff like that. And while it, he talks about cheese, yeah, a little cheesy, but it's still fun to watch. And with viewership declining, the game being less popular, I would think that that would be like a focus point right now. But anyways, I think that that, you know, I could rant about this forever. You know, I could make a 40 minute long video. It's hard to like, I, I'm making this off the cuff too. Like I watched the video while I was like doing work around my house and you know, there's so many different points in that video that I could have a rebuttal to. But as always, I would love to know your opinions down below. How do you feel about this? Are you even watching, you know, the HCS at this point? Do you care? What would make you want to watch it other than like drops on the Twitch channel? But that's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I also read all the comments. Leave me a comment down below, yell at me. I am fully prepared to see people tell me that I'm stupid and that I don't play competitive and that, you know, I just don't understand and all that stuff, and that's fine, you know, I get that. I have an eSport background, you know, like I was working with like MLG and all this stuff. I worked for professional Call of Duty teams. Like my background is in eSports. I'm just coming from a casual viewer perspective and why these things are negative. But yeah, I'll catch you guys around the ring. Peace.